All right, guys. Uh, this is uh, Lockley, and we are playing Far Cry 3: Blood Dragon. This is not the DLC version of a game. This is basically a standalone game. Uh, you do not need to own Far Cry 3 to play this game. Um, but if you've played Far Cry 3, you kind of got an idea of what this game is going to be. It's it's an 80s based game, you would say. Um, old B movie game, um, B movie sci-fi classic storyline. Um, you're kind of like RoboCop cyborg, half human, half robot, and you're sent on some missions uh, on this island. And uh, I've been playing for about two hours, and uh, I am at. Well, basically this level. Um, I'll let you know a little bit about what I'm using to play this game. Uh, this is for people who are interested in this game and haven't played it yet. Um, I don't have a huge high-end machine. I am running an i7. I do have 12 gigs of RAM. My graphics card is a GTX 760 super clocked. Um, great specs for a game like this. Uh, smooth. You'll see. It's a, it's a great game. But, you know... You'll see, I'll give you an idea of what the game is like if you haven't seen or anything like that, but you're basically okay, a Doc, character. Tell me about the silo. That's Hauser Labs, the heart of the Blood Dragon research, and the nursery where we're breeding the dragons. Nursery? Sloan. Tell me, Doc, how'd you end up with that lunatic? After the U.S. stopped the Soviet invasion by nuking Canada, we had no home left. Nuking Canada. Someone offered us that. And a purpose. We didn't know he'd gone rogue. All right, Doc. But it's nap time for the nursery. Objective. Penetrate Hauser Labs. You've recognized that voice, the, the guy. That's you, your character. But he also is an actor. He's, you know, he was the one that was in Terminator. Um, and a bunch of sci-fi movies. I can't get his name in my head right now, but if you saw his face, you'd recognize it. Um, but it adds a lot to the game. Uh, he's very sarcastic, um, and he says he's got some t really funny quotes. But these guys are robots of some sort. Um, and my object is to get into this facility, and there's some blood dragons in there, and I need to get in there to... Um, stop them because these these enemy robots are actually training or not actually training converting the dragons into their their beasts so I've got to stop that so my mission is to do some serious damage and watch this all right one down He's gonna see the dead body, I'm sure. This guy right over here, once he turns around. If he's gonna turn around. These guys are not very observant, are they? Um. Give him something to look at over there. So I'm gonna just, I'm not even gonna worry about killing these guys. I'm just gonna go in here. And let these guys look like doofuses. Robots are not, not too smart. Um, they're just like beefy, meaning they're just like tough guys to kill. Um, but if you played, uh, if you played um, Far Cry 3, it's the same concept. There's gonna be little uh, boxes laying around. You can open up and get uh, stuff. Um, you can kill. There's there's creatures as well. Um, but obviously, you can tell by this the way this is designed. Um, the creatures are going to be uh, deformed of some sort. Um, yeah, it's it's really neat to see. Well, we'll get to a creature soon. All right, we're going to inside where the dragons are at. Welcome to the silo of the future. 
where all your stronghold needs will come true. I'm gonna um, refill my ammo because uh, I know I'm gonna be I mean, running into some bad guys. But a nursery, this place sure is full of the science. It's not just a nursery. It's where Sloane's building the brain cages to control the dragons. They won't attack as cyber soldiers so long as they wear the brain cages. Not on my watch. Destroy the prototype erector rooms, Rex. And if you see any dragons with brain cages, shoot the aggression inhibitor unit on the back of their skull. They'll revert to their normal aggressive behavior and attack the cyber soldiers. Otherwise, they won't respond to cyber hearts or fire. Destroy the brain cage prototypes. So that's the thing. Um, you pilfer these guys, you grab the hearts out of their chests. Those are the cyber hearts. That's the stuff that tracks dragons. So if you're being attacked by a dragon or you're in the vicinity of some bad guys and there's a dragon around, um, you throw that and they'll go to that. That's what they're looking for. But right now, these guys, these, these enemies, have uh, captured the dragons and started uh, implanting these things on the back of their heads so they do not attack the, computer, the uh, robots. Um, so my mission is to go in here and dismantle these contraption things so that the dragon will attack whomever it sees. He doesn't, uh, he's not, uh, he doesn't discriminate. That green arrow you see on the bottom of the screen, that tells me where the dragon's at. The uh, little flashing squares, those are your uh, objectives. Those are the places where you need to go to dismantle. Um, shoot. I got a load of Okay, so. Stabber. <laughs> he's, he's got some great saying. But remember in Far Cry 3, if you get hurt, you hold down the Y button or whatever you use. But if, it's a key, if you're using an Xbox controller, which I do, uh, it's a Y and he'll he'll repair you. That's my robot arm. Doesn't it sound like a Cylon? If you guys remember the 80s, remember Buck or uh, not Buck Rogers, but uh, Battlestar Galactica. Sounds just like him. I mean, they really did a good job on this game. I like it. Uh, but from what I hear, it's very short. I haven't gotten very far in it. Um, two hours I'm into it, but I really haven't detected how I should look to see how much of this game I've completed. This is where it's going to get noisy, because, uh... Unique and majestic killing machines that dominate the top rung of evolution's food chain. Press the button to kill it. <laughs> See, I don't think I can kill this guy. I might try. But I don't think I'm strong enough to kill this guy. I got him. But uh, they saw me, so. But that guy's a tough guy. That guy would be very tough for me to kill. Otherwise, I. Yeah. Shot him in the foot. He died, he died for his cause. I'll tell you that. Okay. Whoa, what's this guy? On the ground. Yeah. They'll, they'll tell you to go on the ground. But. I don't go on the ground. But. If you can shoot him in the head and it explodes, blue blood goes everywhere. It's a, uh, you know, it's a quicker way to kill him. But they're always bobbing and stuff, so it's very hard to. Um, in my case, it was very hard. I'm not a very great. I'm not a great uh, first-person shooter in any way, shape, or form. Um, that's why I, would, I suck terribly at uh, battlefields and uh, the Call of Duties. Single player, I'll play, but when it comes down to fighting humans, uh, I'd never make it. Okay, this guy's kicking my butt, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop him a grenade right there. Let him blow up. Okay, 
got him. Right there. I mean, I gotta, I gotta heal myself. As you can see in the bottom of the screen, I got nothing left. Um, and that red dragon, right? That dragon right there. He wants to kick my butt. So I'm gonna pull up the purge him. And I'm gonna go over here and destroy the. Uh, Destroy the next brain cage prototype. In these uncertain times of Soviet aggression, this five-star silo will shield you and your rogue army from fallout and cannibalistic humanoid underground degenerates. Interesting thing is this is like during the Cold War, obviously during the 80s, but it kind of takes place, you know, uh, it talks about the uh, Soviet Union. Interesting. So I'm taking all these guys' hearts just in case I need them for uh, when I have to battle that dragon. Um, looking around for anything. I don't know if I want this weapon. I think I want this guy heavy duty. The problem with this heavy duty, oh shoot. The problem with this heavy duty gun is it takes forever for it to start shooting. But when it does, it does the major damage. Happened. My buddy over there got killed. So I gotta dismantle this stupid alarm. Oh shoot. He's coming around the bend. I can distract him this way. Oh shoot. Where are these guys coming from? I got nothing so far. I don't want this. Should lay the mines. When we find this fucker, we need to take a thing there. Ha! I just stabbed this guy right in front of his face and he didn't see me. Oh shoot. Do you see me? No. Come on, dude. Okay. He's right there. I Guy. I mean, he's waiting for me. I can do this. I can. Oh, I blew his head off. You notice how long it takes for me to start shooting? Oh, gosh. Oh, there's another one. Jeez Louise. Oh, crap. I'm going down. All right, so I got to heal myself because I'm, like, more than halfway dead. Notice how the longer you hold the gun, the uh, he starts screaming. <laughs> He's like, ah! Fuck yeah. yeah. So again, I'm taking some of these guys' hearts. I didn't realize this in the beginning of the game. I wasn't sure what these are specifically for. I don't know if they gave you power or, or what, but they're really, uh, from what I can tell, it just distracts you. You can you can throw it. Um, and the dragon will just go right to it, or towards it, mind you. And then if there's anything in its way at the time, it'll uh, the next brain cage kill it, erector room. or attempt to kill it. So I'm going, I'm going down. Let's go this way. Okay, wants me to go this way. Make sure there's nothing on that side. Hey, can I get down there? If I jump, I'm not. It's so tempting, but I know I'll die. So I'm gonna go here first. All right, here we go. Ooh, spooky doors. <laughs> All right, it will. Oh shit! Shoot! Sorry. Looks like this guy's coming down the corner. Oh shit! He sees me. 
Alright, I'm down to 438 bullets. And this guy set the alarm, so you know what that means. It's about to get real. And the, and the problem is you can't go back to that door. Once you've gone through it, it's, it's done deal. You committed yourself to the battle. So you gotta do what you can. Okay, I blew his head off. That's pretty good. Look how many guys I got against me that, you know. If these were humans, I'd be dead right now. That's how bad I am. Remember in uh, Far Cry 3, if you played Far Cry 3, you'd have that that knife, you could stab somebody and then throw at the next guy, that's what you could do in this one too. And a lot of it you'll see noticeably that it is a uh, futuristic version of what Far Cry 3 was, um, which makes it feel like, you know, it's not a, uh, it's no relation to uh, Far Cry at all, there's no connection at all to the uh, Far Cry series. It's just a uh, uh, armoire, I guess, or something like that, you'd say. A uh, jump back or flashback to the 80s. And uh, kind of a make fun of the old uh, sci-fi movies that we used to enjoy as kids. Especially those that are from the 80s. So I'm blowing these guys' heads off because uh, it's the quickest way to get these guys. Ooh, look at that. Well, this guy's just gonna come right at me. Come at me. I can't die. He <laughs> said I can't die. See, these guys are really committed to their cause because these guys are running right at me. Uh, robots kick butt. Oh, there you go. How about you? I got you. Oh, that's not going to work. You can't throw your knife at those guys because it doesn't make a difference. But I can do this. Okay, get out of here. You need to fix yourself. Remember, uh, uh, Robocop. Oh my goodness, this guy's dead. Remember the old Commodore 64? I mean, if you're a computer guy and you were in the 80s and 90s, early 90s, I guess, late 80s, and they had the, uh, and it was very early 90s of that, if any, if I can remember correctly. Um, Commodore 64 and the Amiga. And those are the days. Gaming. <laughs> I mean, it was you didn't. There was not really much about consoles. I mean, it was all computer-based gaming, you know. And then consoles came out. Obviously, they were designed by PC users. Um, but I tell you, I was a console user for a long period of time. And playing. Uh, oh shoot. Thanks. Yeah. Once you're committed, you're committed. But playing um, console games is fun. I mean, the, the the big difference to me between consoles and PC games gamers um, is a PC gamer is a little bit more dedicated into into his machine, his system, uh, upgrading it, and doing what he can to get it to the next level. Um, console gamers don't want even want to deal with that. They just want to play the games. Uh, there's no dis there's no difference in the, what you're playing versus the guy next to them is playing, um, and I respect both. But right now, I tell you, uh, I haven't played my console in uh, forever. Um, not to say it's a bad system or anything, but I'm not interested in buying an Xbox One, nor am I interested in buying a PlayStation Destroy the last Four. Cage prototype. Because of what, what you see here is, I mean, this is, to me, this is, uh, this is great as far as graphic visualization and sound. And what you can do with it, I mean, you can have, you can continuously change, you know, your system up, upgrade the RAM, upgrade this processor, stuff like that. But that that's, takes dedication, to, you know, in, into your system and what you want to do with it. But if you're not interested, and some people aren't, or some people just don't have the time, stick with consoles. They will always make games for consoles. Just like I hope they always make games for PC users. So, boom. Alright, that's the last one. Objective complete. Intruder alert. Intruder Great. alert. All 
personnel stop intruder from reaching the silo door that protects the vulnerable nursery. <laughs> HUD, set an objective. Affirmative. Objective, open silo door. Objective complete. Jump down to the sub-level. Are you kidding me? You are not the punchline. You are a killing machine. Jump. Why the hell is this thing so slow? <laughs> Gotcha. Oh, he knocked me over. You know what? If I did it better, I bet you I could have took them both down with the knife. But, you know, again. I didn't. Alright, where am I going now? Let's see. Let's be go down again. Objective. Secure flamethrower and destroy blood dragon egg clutches. Alert. So what does this remind you of? This is like aliens. Now I'm gonna go down here and uh re refill my ammo. We need to enter the nursery and turn the emergency wall-mounted flamethrowers against the egg clutches. All personnel, please use non-lethal rounds to avoid damaging the egg clutches. <laughs> All personnel, please use full lethal sanction to stop the intruder. <laughs> like breaks eggs. Attention, wall-mounted <laughs> like flamethrowers are to be used only in cases of emergency. See, it's not a serious game. Personnel. It's all in fun. It's, it has not really the storyline. It's not it's not the greatest, not. but the object is. Oh, God, look at that dog. I'll burn you, dog. Um. <laughs> okay. Oh shoot, good shot. Oh, I don't want that, I want this. So these guys with the lasers, they will blow your head off. See ya. So they will blow you away. So you gotta run. See, look at that. See that? Oh man, that. Get down, dude, get down. Where am I at? Where are you at, dog? Can you get down, please? Jesus. Okay. Well, let's see if we can start back where we're at. Tracking. Bad V's here. Objective. Secure flamethrower and destroy blood dragon egg clutches. Alert. Sub-basement breached. Stop the intruder before he can enter the nursery and turn the emergency wall-mounted flamethrowers against the egg clutches. All personnel, okay. please use non-lethal rounds to avoid damaging the egg clutches. All personnel, please use bullets. Alright, so I'm going in here to see if I can kill some eggs. Time to break some eggs. Time Attention. to break some eggs. Wall mounted flamethrowers are to be used only in cases of emergency by sanctioned personnel. If you're I guess this point right here would be great for a. And it's probably uh, not. Have a nice day. For a uh, sniper rifle, but I just don't have it. Dog. Poor dog. Had to do it. I don't know what the difference is between the guys in yellow. I guess they're the sniper ones. Poor dog. Okay. Jesus. Stabber. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> oh. Okay, that's good. See those guys right there? I can't. He's hey, he's sniping the, they're sniping the crap out of me. Okay, I got him. Oh shoot. Something sniping me from somewhere. Okay. There he is. See him? Alright. You ever seen that game No One Lives Forever? Remember that game? This kind of reminds me of that humor, that that uh, sarcasm, kind of joking, point, you know, picking fun at, at classic movies. Like, that one was, I think, obviously, like an Austin Powers type 007 type game, but. Um, I wish they had a game like that again. I wish they'd remake that, but I don't even think the company that made it still exists. Alright, 
Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come around this corner right here and I'm going to pop my head up. Let me see. Okay, I'm, I don't like using that gun. I'll tell you why, because like, like I said before, it takes forever for me to start shooting. Time to put your heart into it. But I'm kind of concerned because I'm down to like a very limited amount of ammo. Okay, so hopefully... So oh god, here's the eggs. So let's go to the flamethrower, obviously. So if you remember the movie Aliens, look at that. Ah, da, da. And they got a new Aliens game coming out too, and hopefully it's better than the Colonial. But I'm gonna blast guys. Oh man, look at that. Again. I love my PC, man. The graphics on this thing is just... I'm sure there's graphic cards. I know there's graphic cards better than this and it looks better, but... To me, uh, a mid-level range graphics card and a, and a pretty decent computer... Uh, you don't... You'll be happy. Excellent. Excellent. Oh, I, I caught like myself on fire. Extra crispy. Warning. Fire excites blood dragons. Oh, it great. Does not hurt them. <sighs> okay, well, get me out of here, dude. Okay, so I need to... I don't want that. I don't want the flame for you to do this. Oh, Jesus. Oh, crap. These guys are like badass tough guys, so it, it might take me a minute or so, but you guys got the gist of the game. If you haven't gotten Far Cry 3 and you were interested in getting Far Cry 3, it's a totally different game than this. Same concept of concept of how you get your weapons and how you get credits and what you use your credits for and things like that. You gotta establish um, checkpoints and you gotta go, you know, defeat the enemies and get that checkpoint and that becomes your next save zone and safe zone and then you can get into cars and you can fight alligators and things like that. The same thing as the Far Cry 3, but this is more futuristic, kind of pinpoints different sci-fi movies that we remember when we were in the 80s. Um, when I got this on Steam, I think, I'm not mistaken, I got it for like six bucks or something. It's, it's, it, I would get it for six, seven, eight, nine dollars, but um, twenty bucks, I would kind of wait for a sale. To be honest with you, you would not be disappointed with this game. Not sure how long a gameplay it is. I like I said, I'm probably into two and a half hours now, um, and uh, I don't feel like I've gotten very far. I think I'm just touching the basis of the story, or you know, the missions. But um, Take a look at it. Check it out. I hope you enjoyed this uh, commentary of the game. And I didn't want to spoil anything, uh, so I picked a point in the game where I didn't think I was giving away much of anything on it. But um, if you liked it, please subscribe and uh, uh, leave a comment. If you if I have made any mistakes in as far as giving you information, please let you know let the rest of the subscribers know. Uh, but again, thank you for taking time and uh, watching the game.